Welcome to the Yahaha Essentials tutorial series. My name is Chris, or you may know me better online as Chula Longhorn. I'm here with Yahaha doing these tutorials to show you how to set up the basics in your space. Today, we'll be going over the React component. With a React component, you can add reactive elements to your spaces, which inflict various consequences upon the player, including death. <laughs> oh, sorry, where was I? Oh yes, it's October. So to demonstrate the React component and keep in the mood of the season, I've selected the Graveyard Town template. There's no better place to kill the player again and again. So let's dig in, shall we? The React component allows us to inflict some physical reactions upon the player, including player death. Really, as with any component, React can be added to just about anywhere. But to get started, let's take a look at a familiar asset which has the React component already added, the gear swing hammer. The swing hammer can be used to knock the player around and even knock them clean out. <laughs> let's choose it from the resource box and place it here at the end of this row of graves where these three paths intersect. Now, along with the Revolve and Rotate components, the Swing Hammer has the React component attached, which is how it can give us knockback and death reactions. To learn more about the Revolve and Rotate and how they work, check out their respective Essentials tutorials. But for now, let's focus on React. In its default setup, with the React component type set to hit the player and the degree set to repel, the swing hammer will hit the player and knock them back a bit as it swings into them. And boom! <laughs> Knocking the player around is fun. Now, with the React degree set to bump, we just push the player around a bit, which would allow us to push them off a platform. Slow torture. With the degree set to repulse, we can cause some serious knockback. Woo! That was exciting. Okay. Let's change the react type to dead. With that, we can exterminate the player. <laughs> now let's change the type to hit and dead, which kills the player while inflicting knockback. Let's also set the degree to repulse. Now we get player death along with superhero level knockback. Themes are great to keep our spaces fun and exciting. So, Keeping with that idea, let's set up a ghostly lamp. First, let's choose a lamp in our scene which will allow us to create the effect we want. I'll choose this walkway lamp over here. Now we want to put it in a group so we can add an effect to it. Let's call the group Ghostly Lamp. To complete the look of the lamp, we'll add the green light effect from the resource box FX Assets and resize it to fit the lamp. Now it looks like the lamp is emitting a ghostly aura. Spooky. To allow the lamp to affect the player, we'll add the React component. We want to select the lamp object and not the ghostly lamp group because the lamp object already has good collision for our purposes. Otherwise, we'd have to add extra collision, which could give us odd behavior. So, with the lamp object selected, we add the React component and set the type to hit the player and the degree to bump. With the degree set to bump, we can see that when the player walks into the lamp, it bumps them, even though the lamp isn't moving at all. This effect gets progressively more aggressive as we change the degree to repel, and can be downright comical when we change the degree to repulse, throwing the player quite a distance. Any one of these degrees of reaction could serve our purpose, depending on the effect we're trying to get. Now, let's change the react type to dead, which kills the player as soon as they run into the lamp. Finally, let's change the react type to hit and dead, with the degree set to repel, which kills the player and knocks them back. These can be great for simple traps and deadly obstacles, which seem benign, but are actually quite deadly. <laughs> Okay, moving on, we're going to have more fun with the player by turning one of the tiles in the walkway into a bouncy trap, allowing us to affect the player in interesting ways. 
Let's select a stone in the middle of the path here and add the React component to it. Let's set the type to hit the player and the degree to repel. Doing this allows us to make a part of our path basically impassable by walking or running and requiring the player to figure out another way through. Then, by setting the degree to repulse, we can use the trap to throw the player way up into the air, say, into this tree, making it both surprising and a bit funny. Finally, let's set the react type to hit and dead and the degree to repel, which as you can imagine, will kill the player as soon as they walk over the trap. <coughs> and now we've scared the player to death by adding a hidden element which will pop out at them. Gotta love a good jump scare. To wrap up this tutorial, let's create a haunted wall. By selecting this ordinary looking section of wall further down our path, we can create a trap that will both hamper our player's progress and again, give them a bit of a fright because scaring the player in a spooky space is basically mandatory. Don't you think? <laughs> let's start by adding the move component, which we went over in the move tutorial. We'll leave the move start position at 0, 0, 0 set the stay time to 0, and the move speed to 7. Next, set the relative position point to negative 3.300, the stay time to 0, and the move speed to 7 also. Now, we set the trigger condition to on enter, which sets up a trigger for us. Let's set the trigger across the path like so, making sure it doesn't touch anything so that only the player sets it off. Finally, Add the React component and set the type to Hit and Dead, and the degree to Repel. This setup will cause the wall, whoa, to jump out at the player when they walk down the path, both giving them a fright and killing them off at the same time, making our spooky scene a deadly place to navigate. <laughs> As you can see, the React component can be used to set up all manner of fun funny and scary traps for our players to have to navigate. It can take any space and make it an extra special challenge for our players. That does it for this tutorial, but there will be more. So don't forget to like and subscribe so you can be notified when we post those. Also, be sure to visit us on Discord and in the forums to discuss space creation. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again soon.